thanks for all the nice wishes which are coming along on uh, pranav winning the uh, the world under 16 championship as well as becoming a grandmaster in the process pranav was a top seed in the tournament and that too by a good rating margin so going for the title was something uh, which was very natural from the beginning of this tournament but at the end of the 6th round he had considered three draws so we had a long chat after the 6th round got over in the last two years prana has worked a lot on his tactics and uh, especially calculation he has worked really hard so he is a natural positional player who prefers to grind uh, and also well prepared reasonably well prepared for in his openings uh, but at the same time if the position arises uh, where there are tactics he handles them quite well so after the 6th round uh, uh we decided that he should do a few things on the board you know desist from exchanging the queens go for sharper variations so it worked out well he won four games in a row he played a benoni the crucial penultimate round uh, he played a uh, the moscow variation of the semi slav so like this uh, we discussed and i suggested some small improvements and he played quite well he scored crucial wins which is very important for example the uh, the ninth round game when he had to play the sole leader and beat him and then the penultimate round where again he had to play the joint leader and beat him so he did all this quite well in the last round of course he had control all through and uh, he could even have won the game but anyway all ended in well so overall a good win uh completing the gm title once he made his third gm norm in bel in july 2022 that was a kind of a foregone conclusion so making the 10 or 11 point elo gap in the slovakia open and uh, here in the world under 16 at romania it was quite uh, a natural course so uh, i am happy i did it uh, pranav's success is mainly due to the dedication and the support by his family his father mother his grandmother and his younger brother they are all solidly behind him so this success has come to him at a nice crucial juncture juncture is still a 10th standard boy school boy uh, becoming a grandmaster at this age hopefully will open lot of opportunities for him pranav loves chess is extremely passionate and dedicated towards the game he doesn't want to do anything but play chess and work on chess through the day so he is a trainer's delight i have been working with him for the last 3 uh, years in fact pranav is the first uh, chess player who i have coached in that sense i have been a second or a mentor to a strong group of players a handful of players before that so when i started training with pranav since 2018 19 honestly it has been a learning experience for me also because uh, a young talent a younger boy i wasn't very sure about myself but of course uh, you know chess basically there are no clear paths and there is no single path for everyone to take you to the top and whenever i used to have any kind of apprehensions i used to consult with my close friends ramesh and vishal who are much experienced coaches for the country so in a certain way it has been a it has been really wonderful to uh, coach pranav who is so crazy about chess and extremely extremely hard working and passionate towards the game it has been all going well very well and this grandmaster title and hopefully this uh, gold medal will uh, throw him more opportunities on it on his way that is what uh, i look forward to and uh, really it's it's going to be very interesting to watch pranav grow in chess let's see how it all goes